Okay, so this is a quick demonstration video of uh, Salpo and Deer Inventory syncing. Um, I'm logged into our demo system here, and I've got a couple of widgets uh, here, a uh, list view down the bottom, um, and I've also got some activity history here as well. Up the top, you'll see the usual options here for uh, contacts, communications, things like that. Um, and you may also have some other options under here if you've had custom modules set up. Now, everything I'm referencing here is available uh, by searching Salpo's help file. And if you search for Deer Inventory, there are all of these areas here. So, um, syncing contacts, syncing products, um, creating sales opportunities, and similar. One thing that you'll have to decide is which way you want to handle certain things. So specifically, I'm thinking contacts here. So if you generally use your CRM to prospect new businesses, you may then want to sync them to Deer on a one-by-one -one basis. So if you've been talking to Bob the Builder and now you're going to sell to Bob the Builder, you want to sync information across to Deer. Um, otherwise, if you've got lots of commonly updated information in Deer, you may want to sync all contacts back the other way. Both of those options are available. Um, for products, um, you really only want to sync one way. You never want your CRM to be the source of truth for products. So here, if I start by going uh, to products, and you can see here there's a whole load of product category options here. Um, that's what we want to start to see. Um, what you'll also see is if I go into the settings area here and go to product types, then you'll see here under the actions area, just a moment to refresh, that there is a sync with deer inventory option. So you'll see here uh, which are syncing with deer and you'll see all of the um, areas down the side here as well. So here, if I go to sync with Deer Inventory, there is a pop-up here. It is always worth checking this pop-up to make sure that this is going to sync information in the way that you expect. For example, from Deer to the CRM or similar. So as it mentions here, this will import all the product types along with products. Uh, it'll be processed in the background and you'll receive an email upon completion. So if I hit sync there, um, you'll see that this action's been queued and you will get an email when it's finished, noting that the you that it refers to is the user that is logged in here. So make sure you're logged in with your own email user. Um, that will bring in product types from Deer um, and it will also bring in the products and information in behind them. So within a few minutes, you should receive an email that will confirm uh, that the sync has happened and will let you know if there were any, any issues with it at all. Um, that particular uh, method is also explained in this section here. So syncing products from Deer Systems. Um, that talks through uh, exactly what I've done here and explains uh, as an example that it will only sync products that you mark that you are selling in Deer Inventory so that you don't get, um, for example, a huge amount of ingredients or similar come through. So this has got a huge amount more information here, um, including how you can just sync one particular um, area, uh, one particular product type, for example. Um, there are a couple of different ways to sync that information in depending on your specifics. So what we'll look at next is syncing contacts, and there are a few different ways to do this depending on uh, use cases. Okay, so there's a few different ways to sync contacts between Salpo and Deer, depending on what you want to achieve. So the first one is to just sync an individual contact from Salpo. So let's say we've got a brand new contact in Salpo that we've been maybe prospecting, trying to work with, and similar. So if I go here to organizations, uh, I don't know if I've got a good example here. Uh, let's maybe take this example here, baby wanting. So if I go into this particular one here, I can see that there's a, a mobile number, a phone number, an email address, um, and there's been a couple of little bits of activity here as well. Um, if I drop down the add option here, then you'll see uh, there's a few other standard Salpo options. So I can add an employee, I can add a department or similar. 
Um, what I probably want to do here is to sync with DEER systems. So it's important to note the differences of how this works. This will perform a one-way sync and it will send baby bunting down into DEER inventory ready to be sold to. You'll notice here that there's no DEER information on the right hand side, so it's not currently synced. And if you go to the DEER systems tab, it doesn't give you any information here. So if I go to sync with DEER systems, uh, give that page just a second and it will, it will sync and refresh. A couple of things to note, this sync, so in other words, the one contact one, will happen automatically um, whilst you're viewing the system. So in other words, you don't get the uh, background sync. It doesn't send you an email to confirm or similar because it's only syncing one piece of information. Um, it does it in front of you. Um, and you'll see now, as that refreshes, there's now a DEER ID here. And if we went into DEER, we could start seeing uh, this customer and we could start selling to them. The DEER systems ordering information, so you'll now see that it says it doesn't have sales history in DEER. As you sell to this customer, it will automatically bring back sale information. So you don't need to keep resyncing it in order to get the latest sales information in. Um, if you've synced this customer file and it's in your inventory system to sell to, that's all you need to do from this point onwards. The other thing that you can do is sync multiple contacts from Salpo. So if I go back up here to contacts, um, and in this case, I might go to organizations. Now, if you have filters here, you can choose a filter if you wanted to um, in order to break these down. Otherwise, you can show all organizations and under actions, you can sync with DEER systems from here. So that will allow all of these contacts to sync down. So for example, here, what I might do is uh, let's say, um, no, that's not going to work. That's not sensible. Okay. So I might say that what I want is, um, anyone that we've communicated with, say five days before today. I don't know if there's going to be any, okay. There's only the one, but that's a perfectly good example. Then go to actions, sync with dear. Now you'll see here again, there's a couple of things to be aware of. So um, it will include individuals. Oh, so sorry, sorry, by default, it will include organizations. You generally don't want to include individuals because it's gonna set up Bob the Builder plus Bob Smith, Sally Smith, and so on. Um, and you've got a tick here to understand that anything that's in this view will sync and create or link to con customers within DEA. So if Bob the Builder already exists, then it will sync in and it will just update the information from Salpo. If it doesn't exist, it will create a new uh, company here. So you would then hit sync and that would sync all of that information down. So if I go back to all my organizations, I've got 47 here. The other way is if you've been selling and updating information, adding customers and similar in DEA, and you want to bring them all back into Salpo, you would do that a slightly different way. So you would go here into settings and then integrations. Um, don't click update because what that's going to do is it's going to ask you for a, a key and a password. Um, you would go into more details, sync contacts, and this will import all the contacts in from DEA. There is no way to filter back from DEA because it's the external system. It will, however, um, merge them. So if it's not gonna sync in, say, 100 new contacts and create them if those names already exist. So if Bob the Builder exists, if Baby Bunting exists and so on, it will sync those in to the appropriate files. This is another sync that runs in the background. So you'll see here it's been queued and we'll get an email when it's finished. Um, what I'll do just here on a separate screen is I'll just grab my uh, emails and I'll just show you how this information starts to come through. So you'll see, going back to the first thing that I did here, uh, you'll see Dear System Sync Product Types Success. So successfully synced product types and products from Dear Systems. That's what you want to see. Um, if it tells you that there's been an error, 
there will be an attachment and you can always look at that attachment which will show you what's failed. The most common things that fail are junk information. So looking here, we see the good email. And if it was errored, you would have an attachment here as well. So generally where things fail, as I was saying just before, is junk information. So if you've got phone numbers that are erroneous, email addresses that aren't email addresses, um, postcodes that don't match, th things that are just junk information. Providing the information is relatively clean, then you should find that everything syncs fairly nicely. Um, if you've got any questions about uh, specific cases, then feel free to ask us at any time. Um, if you need help with setting up Deer Inventory or Salpo, you can contact us at any time for that. Otherwise, hopefully this video has been useful. Thanks.